Hundreds of thousands of Londoners are facing New Year misery as informal talks to avert a tube strike ended in deadlock on Thursday. Workers on London's underground are threatening to walk out on New Year's Eve unless a new work schedule is withdrawn. But tube bosses say the schedule has already been agreed by the union. The proposed strike comes just one week after new workers, New Yorkers, I beg your pardon, were forced to endure a three-day transit strike in the run-up to Christmas. Now, I'm talking about new workers. Well, as revellers ring in the new year, whether they've got to walk home or not, many will be compiling a list of hopes and dreams for the next 12 months, otherwise known as New Year's resolutions. Here's an interesting fact for you. A recent survey has revealed that 92% of respondents will prefer in the new year to have a new boss rather than a new lover. Ingve Troberg is the chief executive of Clicker Job. He joins me on some tips for making one New Year's resolution a reality. Good morning to you. Happy New Year, morning. by the way. Thank um, you. Why are people saying this? Well, I believe that uh, because it's uh, typically the new year, people are looking into a situation where they've seen, they are looking past the, the year that they has got just gone by, and they are saying, you know, what, was, uh, what, what am I dissatisfied with in the, in the past year? And typically, I think a lot of people are looking at their career, and uh, they might be looking at their lover as well, yeah. but it just seems that uh, it has come out in the survey that uh, a lot of people would prefer to have a new boss. Now, would people prefer, this is an interesting question, would people prefer a new boss or a new job? Well, I think uh, most of it comes, you know, uh, hand in hand. Uh, if you look at... Uh, no, this, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. A lot of people can say, I like my job, I just don't like the person who's my boss. Well, again, there can be, uh, we, we know that there can be uh, problems uh, management-wise in a lot of companies. But I think career-wise, a lot of people, when they have uh, been looking at, uh, in the survey, the way the question was phrased, it was typically looking at a new career uh, and, and see whether they could move on uh, for the coming year. Uh, the truth it, is, though, the truth is, uh, New Year's Eve brings these thoughts. I want a new boss, I want a new job, I want a new house, I want a new this, that and the other. But most of us do nothing about it. Well, that is indeed true. Uh, but uh, we also know that it has become more and more common to change job more and more often. Uh, and in particular, in the younger generation, you'll see that uh, the, 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 sort of the, the time when you had like a lifespan within one job has so, just gone completely. All right, so you're unhappy with your job. Mm -hmm. I, I suspect, Ingvar, you are not qualified to tell us what to do if you're unhappy with your lover. You're not qualified. Well, I am not qualified for that, I guess. <laughs> no. I, but I am qualified to, to, uh, to explain a bit about what you should do in case you're looking for a new job. I think our viewers would be much rather to hear about the first <laughs> rather than the second. But we'll stick with the second for the time being. Okay. What do you do if you don't like your job? You want to change it. Well, there's no doubt that the, the internet has, is now the prevalent uh, way and more commonplace way to find a new, a new uh, opportunity. Uh, however, it has also its inherent problems as there are so many vacancies now posted online and it's very easy to apply for jobs online. You can apply for 20 jobs within 20, 20 minutes really. But do bosses, uh, for any job of any seniority and any seriousness, do people take any notice of online applications? Isn't it still done through headhunters, through personal contacts and uh, adverts in the in well, reputable you, newspapers? You need, you need to look at the employment market pyramid and what you're talking about is the top level and yes indeed the top level is very much catered for by headhunters and will continue to be so. However, if you look at the medium strata and the lower strata, then without question, uh, most uh, jobs are now filled via the internet. Uh, and if you look at uh, recruitment agencies in the UK and you find out where are they getting their candidates from, it is prevalent, uh, you know, from the UK. So from, basically, from you're going to have to troll the internet and apply for every job. Uh, but, but what you seem to be saying is, don't do that, be more selective. Well, I think that the, the, pr the problem is that if you are a serious job seeker, uh, you need to di differentiate yourself from uh, any other job yeah. seeker that have just, you know, haphazardly clicked on an application for, you know, for a, a job. And uh, there are ways to do that. One way, of course, is to make sure that you have uh, a complete up-to-date CV, but also that the covering letter right. that you submit together with the CV uh, gives an impression that you are really interested in the job you are applying for. And that you have made some effort uh, finding out what the company is about. Click, click a job is one of those websites. But I'm sure you could probably give us some websites where you could also find a new lover, but we'd probably get taken off the air. 
rather than that. <laughs> I, I, I hear that one or two of my colleagues might know a place or two for that sort of thing. OK. Happy New Year to you. Same to you. Are you happy with your job, by the way? I am indeed. So you're part of that 8%? I am part of the 8%. Well, Egan, you're the boss. <laughs> so you can hardly <laughs> you, so you <laughs> want a new boss, could you? <laughs> You'd be firing yourself. All right, we'll leave it there. Okay. Many thanks. Thank you. The global weather f forecast now. Jill Brown. Jill, it's very interesting, isn't it? 92% of us, 92% want a new boss rather than a new lover. <laughs> well, um, I guess you pick your lover, you don't pick your boss, typically. So I guess that makes some sense. Well, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on for your New Year's. So if you have plans for New Year's, you probably do not want to see those kind of clouds. But unfortunately, they're here.